Let's talk about Vieta's formula. Vieta's formulas are a really helpful trick to find the sum of the roots of a quadratic equation. Now, it can be used for many different types of equations, but the ones that you're going to need are mostly going to be for quadratic equations. So, a quadratic equation is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Now, the VS formulas will help us find the sum of the roots. So, this, let's say our roots are x1 and x2. x1 plus x2 will be negative b by a. And x1 times x2 will be c by a. This can be really helpful in problems. Let's look at an example. Let's say we have the quadratic equation x squared plus 4x plus 4. We wouldn't have to actually go through and find the sum if we just knew this. So the sum of roots will be negative b by a. b is 4, so it'll be negative 4 over a is 1. So the sum of the roots is negative 4. It's as simple as that. If we wanted to find the product of the roots, we would do c over a. So that's 4 over 1. That a is 4. So this is the product of the roots. Now, VS formulas have many other applications as well. Let's look at some examples. So, let's say we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. And let's say our roots are x1 and x2. And we're trying to find x1 squared plus x2 squared. Now, Instead of actually going and finding all of that, we can just use Vieta's formulas. So, we know x1 plus x2 squared is x1 squared plus 2 times x1 times x2 plus x2 squared. So, x1 squared plus x2 squared will be x1 plus x2 squared minus 2x1 x2. Because if we remove this, we'll get just x1 squared plus x2 squared. And we can find x1 plus x2 and x1 times x2. x1 plus x2 is just negative b by a. So that's negative 5 over 1, so that's negative 5. Squared minus 2 times x1 times x2, that is c by a. So that's 6 over 1, that's 6. So this is 25 minus 12, this is 13. Now, this was a fairly easy quadratic to deal with. If instead we had something crazy, we would have to use Vieta's formula. We couldn't actually factor it. Let's look at one last example. Let's say we have x squared plus 17x plus 14. And let's say we know that the roots are x1 and x2 again. And let's say we want to find x1 minus x2. Now, it would be really hard to actually find the roots because we would have to use the quadratic formula. So to find x1 minus x2, we use the Vieta's formula. So again, we know x1 minus x2 square is x1 square minus 2x1 x2 plus x2 square. Now we can find x1 plus x2 square x1 plus x2 square is x1 square plus 2x1 x2 plus x2 square. So x1 plus x2 square minus 2x1 x2 will give us x1 and x2 square. So this will be, so this is negative b by a, so that's negative 17 minus 2 times c by a, so that's 14. This is 289 minus 28, which is 261. I need a little bit more space. So now we know x1 square plus x2 square is 261. 
what are we going to do with this information? We can use this and put it back in here. So x1 minus x2 square is equal to 261 minus 2x1x2. We can find x1x2. That's just c by a. c by a, remember the equation is x squared plus 17x plus 14. So c by a is 14. So this is 261 minus 2 times 14. This is 261 minus 28, which is 233. So we know x1 minus x2 square is 233. So x1 minus x2 is square root 233. So this is our final answer. Now, Vieta's formulas can be really complicated, so this requires a lot of practice. I'll link the practice worksheet and its answers in the comment section, so make sure to go check those out.